Stay connected to Larry Reed Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube page and hit the bell. Text Larry Reed Live to 33222. That's the words Larry Reed Live, no spaces, 233222. And get notified when we go live. Become a member of Patreon today by logging on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Download the Patreon app and turn on your notifications. Get connected today. You are about to watch what happened at Reformation Experience 2021. For those of you that do not know, Larry Reed Live is just one of the legs of the MBN Network. And what we do, we produce content. And Larry Live is our flagship show. But also, we have Reformation Prayer Call that happens. That's just with patrons and Patreon. We have a whole nother Larry Live experience there with experts, with teachers, and um, stock tips and all sorts of things. Well, I decided since my patrons have stuck with me and L.R. Ellis has stuck with me for many, many years, I decided to do something for a hundred and a few, I forget how many it was, patrons. And I brought them here to Atlanta and I took care of all of their events that they wanted to attend and their hotel. We footed that, that what did they Do you not know I'm live and you trying to correct me? So why don't you text me? I know what I said. I didn't pay for everybody that was in that room. I do not need you to try to correct me what I'm trying to do the show. <sighs> anyway, so like I said, a hundred something my fault. I, I, we, MBN Network, we covered them, brought them in. People who have really, I mean, really, really, really support. Don't you know them names I call at the top of the show? There's a reason why I call These are people who really, really stand behind the brand and support. But I wanted to open it up to anybody who was a patron. So anybody who's over there for $12 a month, I always give exclusives and things. Listen, what you need to do is, is become a patron too, but you, that ain't what I'm here for. I want to show everybody what happened when me and the lady that plays Hadding for Tyler Perry, but she's known on the road everywhere as Ma. And so I want you to see this interview. Take a moment right now, hit like and hit share and let everybody know that we are about to get an exclusive inside peek to the world of the patrons. What happens when we get together, what we get to experience it just became a weekend of it, actually, right here in Atlanta. And I want you to consider to become a patron because there's so many other things that's going to be happening, and it's only going to be open to the patron. You've got to be able to prove that you are a patron before you come up in where I got something going on. You can't. You can't. Your kids can't get in there. Oh my God, how many we had? I don't know how many. How many we had? We had police officers, then ex police officers of security, six people all over. It was 24 hours that when you come there, it's safe. You can just have a good time. I'm going to do it again next year, July the 15th, 16th, and 17th. So go ahead and mark your calendar. We're going to do it again next year. And there's something else. I'm going to do it the first of the year, but you got to be a patron in order to come. Are you ready? Let me look. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, are you ready? Are you ready? Let me look, let me look, let me look and see. Are y'all coming up in here? Hit like and hit share so that everybody can see what happened. All right, here it is. Let's go. Introducing Larry D. Reed. <laughs> Welcome to Larry Reed Live! Your most favorite entertainment news and talk show that is out here on social media occasions. My name is Larry D. Reed and I am the host of Larry Reed Live. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that are watching me right now. It is because of you that we are able to do exactly what you see us doing right now. So I want you to take a moment, hit like, and hit share 
Tell Naughty Daughter every darn body that Larry Live is on. <laughs> Tonight we have a guest more than we have mess. So I hope that you are excited about getting to know my guest on tonight. Well, well, well. Whole lot been going on in this world. But I'm going to say that for another time. We're going to have a great time interviewing our guests. Take a moment and pay attention to what's coming across the screen now. If you decide in this moment that you want to be behind the scenes of Larry Live, then become a patron. Go to Patreon, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Larry Reed Live. And sign up. You even can sign up for a year to connect with us and get behind the scenes information. You get to connect with my experts in real estate, in money, in stock market, sexuality, spirituality, all sorts and types of experts, health experts. They are over there on Patreon. We have our own lives just for you. And I want to say thank you to all of the LRLers who watch on YouTube and Facebook that hit like and hit share and also send donations to the MBN network that powers Larry Reed Live. If you decide that you would like to donate right now, dollar sign MBN, Mary Boy Nancy Network, or Venmo, at symbol MBN Network. Or you can text us right now. Text the word GIVE to 4048. What the devil is that number? I can't never. Lord, some, it's 8 what, Nancy? 8 zero eight zero zero. Huh? Huh? 4530. Text that right now, the word give will start a whole conversation with you and you're able to be able to get to the Lord. And our prophets and those that will answer the phone will come and they'll pray for you and give you a prophecy. You're in need of a word from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Or you can, what's the other thing? Thank you so much, LRLs. Zell. <laughs> and the Zell email address is info at the MBN network dot org. Oh, everybody say, oh, oh, that sound real good. Jesus, y'all say that in the key. Everybody say, oh, <laughs> you could go to LarryLive.com and click donate there, and that will be a PayPal transaction. Oh, everybody say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you can send a money order check or whatever you want to send, cashier's check. Don't send your draws. Some of y'all nasty. Send it to 780 Morosco Drive, suite number 244224. That's Atlanta, Georgia, 30324. All right, if you're ready for the show, make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, how many of you love Tyler Perry plays and movies? He has many shows that are um, all over the different networks. It's like he's taking over. Every time I turn on, there's something Tyler Perry's. Tyler Perry's over here. Tyler Perry's over there. God bless him. Give me a job. Lamb. All right. But tonight, we get a chance to connect with one of the talents that I discovered and probably you discovered by watching the work of Tyler Perry. And I'm going to say this, and this may be a little, um, maybe I shouldn't, but out of all of the people that I've seen on the plays and on the TV, these other acts, she's the best. I think she's the best. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Patrice Lovely as the character that we love to see her play all over um, the airways. I want you to make some noise for Patrice Lovely. Thank 
you, I bathed today. You bathed? <laughs> yeah, I bathed right, today. I put my good things on you. You sure are looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thank you. God for Zion. So you don't want none of this now. And you shining like new man. <laughs> your shoes, your clothes, your jewelry, your head. <laughs> you just shine. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What do you, who, what name do you go by? Everybody calling you everything. Had it, mom? No, they just calling me mom because I'm trying to rebrand. And let me say this, the reason I'm trying to rebrand is because I appreciate what Tyler's done for me, mm -hmm. and I'm thankful to God for where he's brought me from, mm -hmm. but there comes a time when it's time for you to venture and go into your own. Amen. I'm preaching. You go into where God is trying to put you. I'm thankful that man has changed my life. And he gave me the name Hattie. Right. I've been doing this character for 20 years. Wow. But he, he came and got me off the stage in wow. Detroit, Michigan. Wow. And he gave me the name Hattie. Wow. So when I'm outside of Tyler Perry's camp, I don't use the name Hattie. Right. I use Ma. Ma. Well, listen, to many Is that all right, y'all? Yeah. Listen, we love you, Ma. You are terribly talented. Thank you. Don't make me emotional because that's what you're doing. I'm thankful. I know that God has given me a gift. Yeah. And I know that God has put me in this world for such a time as this. Yeah. I know that people need to be healed. Yeah. I know that laughter... It's setting people, people free, yeah. and it's healing the land. You never know what people is going through during the course of the day. Mm -hmm. But if they watch a video and it makes them laugh and it pulls them up out of their situation that they're in, then my job is done. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't mean to cry. I don't mean to cry. But I'm a bear in the water when it comes to God's people and energy and moving yeah. and making a difference. You one, know? one of the things that we discussed today, we discovered, do you know Jonathan Slocum? I know Jonathan, um, not really personally, mm -hmm. but I know in meeting them, of doing different things, different programs together. Now, he was here today and he asked a question about laughter. And one of the things that I said to him was that laughter and your laugh life is just as important as your prayer life. Have you ever been on stage being ma or on TV being ma or doing what you do being ma and feel like you're being used by God? Is that one of your supernatural gifts? I'm used by God every time I do this character, period. Because I didn't start out here, and honestly, I don't even know how I got here. All I know is one day I was doing a, um, a singing as Patrice. Mm -hmm. And do you know Dwayne Woods? Yes. Yeah? Dwayne Woods um, brought me in to do a play. Hmm. And I came in as a 16-year-old girl, and I did that, and then... We was doing, you know, David Payton, God rest his soul, good man is hard to find. Mm -hmm. He was out doing a play, and then there was another team out doing the same play. And they told us that we would have to go home if we didn't change the play overnight. Mm. And that's how this character was wow. born. This character came from my Aunt Ruby Williams and my grandma and my mother. Wow. They always, you know how you got people in your family, they don't even know they fun as hell, but they just fun? <laughs> uh oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't know, is this a gospel show? No, it's, it's just a show. 
Oh. We're all God's children. Oh, amen. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so that's how that character was born. And my, my Auntie Ruby, I don't know if you all know that my mama was a pastor. Oh, I did. So I'm a PK kid, which is, what's the baby name, that song? His, uh, the, the choir, that song? Kevin Lemon. Kevin, Kevin Lemon. Uh-uh-uh, Kevin Lemon. Kevin Kevin? No, no, just do it slow. Kevin Lemon. Kevin Lemon. Okay. So anyway, I grew up in the church, right? Which is the reason I don't fool with. Can I say what I want to say? Yes, you can. Is it okay, yo? It's okay. Which is the reason I don't fool with church people. Oh. I grew up in the church as a pastor a kid. And I watched the saints do all kind of crazy things. Which is what turned me off from church. Mm. And for all of my life, up until two years ago, mm. I thought I was going to hell. Because they doctrinated me. Mm. And they made me feel like everything I did, I was going to hell. Everything you do, you're going to hell. And do you know, I've never gone to a prom. Wow. I've never gone to a basketball game. Wow. And the only basketball game I went to, I had to cut a hole. Wait a minute, you, is that? <laughs> That's not a joke. Okay, you had to do what I now? had to cut a hole. <laughs> what? what did the hole do? That hole came up to me, and she accused me of messing with her boyfriend. Okay. And she was like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, oh, and she stood up over me like this, and she said, I heard you been messing with my man. <laughs> and I looked up at that whore and I said, if anything, your man messing with me. <laughs> and then she commenced to swing on me and I cut that hole. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. What did you cut her with? How I cut her with my knife. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So for real. So all of my life. The church deprived me mm -hmm. of my upbringing. When we were young, my mom used to take our toys and give it to the members of the church. So we didn't have normal Christmases. Mm. And so people look at you, and I hope I'm not getting too deep for your Emma. Talk, Ma. Talk, Ma. People look at you. And they see because you're on these stage. You see that? Yeah. You don't know what the hell I done been through mm. through my childhood mm. Mm. to get me here. Mm. Even my first tour, when we rode to go from city to city, yeah. I could see the lines on the street because the bus had a hole in it. Mm. This was with David Payton. Mm. So people don't know what you've gone through during the course of the day. Yeah. But at the end of the day, God has already got it planned out. Yeah. Your calling and your purpose, somehow you just walk into it. You just walk into what God has for you and you trust and you walk in here blindfolded. And for a lot of people don't know, I never finished high school. I'm just telling too much damn information. <laughs> Ma, you, your testimony is helping us. Why didn't you finish? Because of the church people and because of my mom. Again, I couldn't, I never went to the prom. 
I never went to a school dance. When I tried to participate in the athletics, because I could run. My mom would come and snatch me out of that. My audition, my first audition that I went to was called The Follies. Mm -hmm. And I could sing. I could sing my eyes off. <laughs> <laughs> and I made that. When it was time for me to leave and perform, she came and snatched me out of that. I was never able to wear a pair of pants, mm. which is the reason why now I always wear dresses. If you see me, you never probably see me in a pair of pants. But that's because all of that, I was indoctrinated. Yeah. Mm. But what I found out is them same church folks that was judging me, condemning me, casting me into hell, the same church folk I see in the club. Mm. The same church folk I see cussing people out. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn to get a relationship with God for myself. Yeah. And once I got past church people, my gift was able to flow. <laughs> I was able to walk into the glory and the light of God mm. and to heal the land. Mm. And I've always been a giver. Always, always been a giver. I would get all my money away and have nothing left. And at the end of the day, when you need help, mm. who going to help you? <laughs> So the strength, there's a, uh, a great strength that you display as Ma. That strength comes from where? Patrice. <laughs> Patrice's strength comes from where? Ma. Wow. Okay. That is so powerful. Well, because here's the thing. As Patrice, I was always taught to be a giver and to give and love and, you know, and I've always done that, right? And again, when you give and give and give, people don't appreciate you giving. Mm -hmm. So you got to learn. You got to learn to pick yourself up and keep going and keep doing what God has told you to do regardless as to what you receive back. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you never get anything back, you don't look for a reward down here. Your glory is stored up in the kingdom. <laughs> your glory and your reward is stored up in heaven. So we had to learn to make each other strong. So when I see and I feel the love and the energy from the people, I don't call them fans because I, I don't believe in all of that. People call you superstar. I don't believe in all of that. I don't want to be that. I don't, I'm not a superstar. What I am is one of God's chosen people. And I've been put on this earth to do an assignment and to do a job. And so we had to learn to elevate each other. And when I read comments and I read the appreciation and I get the love, they build me up. Mm. And therefore, Patrice and Ma, we help. I got you. Got it? The, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. What we want to do. Hold on, my titty coming out. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't call it titty on LRL. We call it chest meat. Chest meat. Oh, chest meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's old sexy way of saying titty. <laughs> oh, I'm a member of that. 
Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, my chest meat is coming out. <laughs> All right, what we want to do, because clearly you have a lot of wisdom because of what you've went through and what you have experienced, we want to give a few of the ladies an opportunity to ask you a question. Will you be open to that? Yeah. They're going to come yeah. right up. If you have a question for Ma or Patrice or Patrice as Ma, come right quick and you can ask her right after this break. Oh, I sing and Mary. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Send Martha out. not to moan. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Tell Martha not to moan. Tell Martha not to moan. You know Pharaoh's army. Pharaoh's army. You know they got drowned. Drowned in the Red Sea. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary, don't you eat. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary, don't you eat. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary, don't you eat. Tell Martha not to moan. Tell Martha not to moan. Is that a good commercial break? That's a good one. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay, I just had to do a break. Because <laughs> we're going to add this on, on my plan. <laughs> you tickle me. Cause I, don't give her a hand. That rabbit. You ain't saying unless you rabbit, right? <laughs> ain't that right? You right. Oh, my rabbit. Yeah, you got a rabbit with that thing. <laughs> ain't God <all> good? <laughs> all right. So we're gonna give you. We're gonna give you an opportunity to come and ask your question. Come on now. That she come. Come on, babe. You ain't got to run. Take your time. Run? <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't see with these guys. It look like you were doing like this. Real I see you, baby. Here you I go. just want to see if you can get up and dance for me. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Can we give a little music? Wait, so for some of y'all that didn't understand what she said, she said, I just want to know if you can get up and dance a little bit. I ain't showing my glory. Is <laughs> oh, I don't want to no. put your eyes out. <laughs> Look, well, we get a little music. Well, we can get a little music. I'm going to get you, baby. Come on with okay. the music. Okay, all right. You have another question. Anybody have another question? While the next question is coming, what I want to know, what is the next thing you have planned for Ma? Well, actually, I got a call from Tyler last week. Wow. So, yeah. So, we're going to be working on a new movie. Oh, that is great. Yeah, God is good. And it, and it keeps opening doors for you over and over and over. Once you popped on the scene, you haven't left the scene. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember when we was in Detroit. De Detroit, that was my cousin's at. Well, I got some Detroitians in here. That's what's up. <laughs> I was in Detroit doing a play with Jacarius Johnson. A few people maybe know, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so I never forget. Each year or every every other year, Tyler would call me. This before I met him. And, um, and want me to come do the movies. But each time he would call, I was already in contract with somebody else. And then finally, uh, that last show that I was doing in Detroit, I guess he said, I'm going to get her. And he flew on his helicopter, and he came in there. Well, he flew, how did he fly there? He flew on his helicopter. Uh-uh. Try helicopter. Yeah, that too. Okay. <laughs> he flew, he flew, 
How about he flew? <laughs> <laughs> He flew it in there, and he came and got me off of that stage. And let me tell you something now about how when God, when it's God's timing, and it, when it's time for God to, 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 to bless you and motivate you and elevate you to the next level, I don't care what you're doing, where you at, and what's happening in your life. When it's time for God to move you, you're going to move. And he came, that man came in. After several years of trying to get me, he came and took me off the stage, and I was on the stage. He was back behind the stage, and I kept hearing somebody in the noise just kidding. They said, let me. I said, who is the hell is that out there with all that noise? <laughs> and they said, that's Tyler Perry. I said, he the only one making noise. <laughs> he was out there kidding himself, laughing. And I said, okay. So he came back behind stage. And do you know when I met that man for the first time, he picked, y'all know how big and tall he is. Mm -hmm. That man scooped me up. And from that day to this one, we never parted. Wow. I was in his office. That was Sunday. I was in his office on Tuesday morning. And by that weekend, I had a script. Mm. By the next weekend, we was rehearsing, and by the next weekend, we were shooting and filming. Wow. What film was that? That was uh, Mud Deer's Christmas. Oh, wow. That's the first time I ever worked with him wow. was Mud Deer's Christmas. Wow. And so the good thing about him is he just, he just allowed me to come in and do me. He would give me a script, and I'd look at the script. <laughs> I said, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> and he would allow me to just pick a part yeah. and pull and put and do me. Yeah. And, from, and, and from day one, he allowed me to create and do me. Yeah. So when it's time for God to elevate you, and move you to the next level. Mm. I don't care who. God said he will put you before kings and queens. And I knew how important I was to me. <laughs> and I knew how important I was to God. Mm -hmm. So I already knew what I was going to do in his camp. Yeah. I was going to come with the fire. Right. And anything come behind me, you got to burn that hoe up. <laughs> <laughs> now, how is your relationship with Madea? Madea, me and Madea love each other. Okay. I love me, 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 Madea. Lord, me. All the things we done done, you know, sometimes you just can't put all your business out in the street okay. like that. <laughs> but the things me and Madea done done together. Lord. So, did you started calling her Ma, or was that something that was in the script? I call her Ma Dear. That's what I call her Ma Dear. And then certain parts is just Ma. And then it just all depends on, you know what I mean, how I feel okay. and what's happening, you know? When you were in Halloween. That some bitch hurt my toes. <laughs> Do y'all know for two years I walked around with my toe dislocated when I come out there, ha-ha, and that little heifer was up in the top of that thing, <laughs> and I was in that pool to party, and they didn't tell me. See, Tyler, he was dirty, he was dirty about <laughs> Tyler didn't tell me that he had planted that little girl up in that thing. <laughs> And so we were just filming, and he said, Mo, we're going to um, we go to the high house. And, da -da 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 -da. and so I was like, okay, he said, and you just going to be on the toilet, and then you're going to come out the toilet. I said, okay, great. I can do that. And he locked the damn door. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> I used in there using bathroom. And then I seen some hell just come down in front of my face like this. And y'all, I, it scared me so bad, for real, for real. 
I bust out that our house, and when y'all see me running and made that fall, my whole toe was dislocated. For two years, the devil took the devil. <laughs> For two years, my toe was out of out of commission, <laughs> and so. Damn, why didn't get me a new pair of pantyhose? Cause these hoes is dead. So my toe was out. <laughs> 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 my toe was out of commission for two years. Two years straight, and I thank God for me reading, me reading, me working and working, and finally got my toe back in 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 in, in play. But that was that movie, I, and I can't even begin to tell y'all the behind the scenes things. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> At the clowning we be doing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have a good time. So everything that you see on film, what, how you enjoy, we enjoy yeah. making it. So the energy that we put into it. It's yeah. the energy we get out of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And the last thing that I wanted to ask you, I don't see if I was standing there, so I keep asking questions. The last thing that I want to ask is this. How hard and difficult is it to balance you in your gift you're in your gift a lot. I'm like, I watch you on the internet. How is it balancing your personal life with your career, especially you're in Hollywood now? So here's the thing. I guess because I do have a level head and I don't care about, you know, the start. I don't do it for that. So it's easy. When I'm home and I'm uh, out of character, I spend time with God. And I communicate with God. I'm uh -uh, baby. You said what now? Communicate. It start with a C, not a T. Hey, glory. <laughs> so <laughs> I communicate <laughs> with God, and I, I literally, you know, I spend time, and I, you know, because I have to put so much out, mm -hmm. I have to put something in. Because, you know, people pull. People pull your energy. People pull on your spirit. And as much as you put out, you have to feel that. And because... And because I am solo, I'm single, I don't, you know... You, you know Wait a minute, you're, you're, you're single? I, I thought you had someone in your life. No. Okay, how long have you been single? About two years now. Have Almost you ever been, two years. ever been in love? I've been in love several times. I was married. Oh. Yeah, I had two husbands. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was from Johannesburg, South Africa. <laughs> and when he called my name, he said, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that right there, that's just sexiness all in itself. <laughs> and that turned you on by itself when he called my name. So anyway, yeah, I've been. <laughs> you went somewhere, didn't you? Oh, don't let me get lost in Hollywood. <laughs> but anyway, because I was so young and I wasn't, um, I wasn't in the place mentally and spiritually as right. well as physically, I, I messed that up. Uh oh, you messed it up. I messed it okay, up. Okay, so mom, what is your age? My real age? No, mom. Mom. Uh huh. Mm, you don't never ask a girl her age. <laughs> But I'm 77. 77. Yeah. And Patrice is? 53. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't I look good? You look good. <laughs> Don't let this food sue you. <laughs> Don't let this suit fool you. Okay. Okay. I got things going on. You got things. <laughs> I just told that boy back there, you better go on and quit playing with me. You're going to be looking for me in the daytime with the, a flashlight. Which, 
I don't know if one it was, but he showed you a dog drockling and pretty. Oh, that's Junior. I don't know who the hell he is, but <laughs> he can get it. He's a person look. <laughs> He, he's a personal trainer. Come, Junior, Who's personal trainer? Come, Junior, come walk out here. Is that him? Who is Junior? That's, that's him right there. Take these damn glasses. Uh, he's a personal trainer. Good come God, step out here. Buttons and everything start coming loose. You see that? Yes. Yeah, Junior can get it. <laughs> I ain't fooling with y'all. <laughs> if you could do anything, what what is your greatest dream or your dream job or who you want to work with? No, it, it, so 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 what I am doing right now. Okay. I'm living my life and I'm living it according to. Uh, the way God wants my dream, not dream job, but my dream was to open my own production company. And God did that during the pandemic. Wow. So here's the thing. I'm going to tell you, let me tell you, when I tell you God is, God is awesome. I've always wanted to do my own things, do my own shows, do my own movies, do my own thing. When, I, when the pandemic happened and the whole country shut down, that's when God came to me and showed me his real true self. Mm. God came to me. I bought cameras. Mm. I set up a whole studio. I set up a whole production company, and my dream was to work with different people, give different people shots, because there's so many people that has it in them, mm -hmm. but they just don't have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. God did that for me, and that's what I'm doing daily. Mm -hmm. I might see somebody walking down the street, and I say, ooh. That's him. Get his number, Bobby. Mm -hmm. mm, can I say something about that, too? Yeah. Bobby, I don't know where Bobby is. But when all of this happened and when all of this went down, you know, everybody was scared to touch each other. Everybody was scared to mingle and this and that. Bobby Parker came to my rescue. This man built sets. Mm. This man came in and just did everything that I needed to be done as a man, mm -hmm. as a friend, you know? So everything was already taken care of, you know? Mm. And then God started to send me camera people. Mm. Lou, Lou D, he started to send me people, send me things, give me ideas. Help me to create, allow me to do all the things that I wanted to do mm -hmm. during a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And in one year, I built over two million followers. Wow. 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 That is amazing. So again, when you walk in, in your purpose and in your calling, and you walk in, in the space where God wants you, mm -hmm. it's just gonna flow. It's just gonna flow. You ain't got to do nothing. It's just gonna Shit. flow. Shit. Uh oh. <laughs> it's just gonna happen. <laughs> it just happened. It flows. When you in line and when you in tune 
to what God wants you and where God has you. Just so, so what I can I say this to them? Yes. Whatever you've been dreaming and whatever you've been asking God for, whatever you've been believing, trust it, receive it, just take it. You ain't got to keep praying and asking God for the same thing. Just walk in it. God will allow you to meet people. He'll bring people. He'll present. You just, again, you could be walking in, into a gas station. And there could be somebody there that God wants you to meet. You can be using the bathroom. And somebody could come up. And somehow, something, it always end up happening. Just a simple conversation. Then somebody could drop in there. Oh, here you go. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Your hair is pretty. And one thing, anything, any one thing leads to another. Things just happen when you're walking and in your tune. Mm -hmm. But you can't expect God to give you anything if you ain't giving. Whatever you want, you put that out. If you want money, give it all away. Yeah. <laughs> Not literally, but I'm just saying. Right, I got you. I give my first husband, I gave all of our money away. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm reaping the benefits now. Because I, I'm a giver. Mm -hmm. I was always taught to pay my tithes and my offerings. And you don't always have to give your tithes and your offerings to a church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would see somebody in the street that needs shoes, yes. that need clothes that need food, and I would give. Hmm. Always helping somebody. I have properties helping people. They tear my houses up. Hmm. But because God has got my back, yeah. and because I am a giver, God always triples it. Yeah. He always give me back. What the, what the enemy means for your harm, God always turns it around for your good. Mm -hmm. All things work together for the good of those who love God and called according to his purpose. Mm. There's nothing that you can do to hurt me. You can't hurt me. It might hurt me for a minute, mm. but I'm getting some out of this here. Mm -hmm. You got me. <laughs> Wait a bit, Bob. Well, on this show, we put an F in, in the, I mean, an R in the F word. It's, it's fruck. F-R-U-C-K, not, we don't. I ain't going to even say it. Okay. Okay. But they, um, you got what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I live my life every day. Mm -hmm. You know? That's how I live. One of the things that was um, phenomenal about you that is phenomenal about you is how extreme your character is from Patrice. Yeah. I mean, it's night and day. Yeah. Is it possible for us to hear from Ma and then hear from Patrice? You're hearing from Ma now. Well, we want to hear from Patrice. Well, Patrice is underneath there, right? And that means I would have to take all of this off. Yeah? And then you really hear me. Because of God and God's anointing on my life, he's taken me from place level to level to level. And he set me for, before kings and queens. And I remember somebody telling me years ago that your gift will make room for you and that you don't ever have to worry about money you don't ever have to worry about food. 
if the birds of the field don't have to worry, why should we? So many people underestimate who you are. And because so many people has had people put your, their foot on your neck, it caused you to doubt yourself. But because of the God that we serve, the glass ceiling, that ain't jack compared to what God has for us if we walk up right before him. He'll give you the desires of your heart if you walk up right before him. And don't allow anybody to put you in hell. <laughs> Stop allowing people to put you. Change your whole atmosphere. Change the people around you if they're not being beneficial to you and helping you move to the next level. You are so talented. Love you. you are so talented. She's amazing. I want you to stand to your feet and make sure that you let her know just how much you appreciate Patrice Lovely as Ma. Actress Patrice Lovely. Go right now to her IG. And her IG is the at symbol Actress Patrice. And let her know that you just saw her interview on the Larry Live platform and how much you enjoyed it. Tell her all wonderful, beautiful things and let her know that you really enjoyed the interview. And I want each and every one of you that are watching, make sure you hit like, hit share, let everybody know what you viewed here and what you saw here. I need for you guys to help me let the world know that Larry Live is more than just commentary, but there's also more content that has been created and is happening right here. I want you to also take a moment and go to Vimeo, Vimeo On Demand, and go watch a seven-part series that we recorded last year. It's me, the mother of my children, and my children, and it's also some of those that were around me now. You may look at it and be like, okay, this is not as nice as what we just saw. Well, we started there, and now we're growing somewhere else. And in December, season two of Reading Things My Way will be streaming on demand. So you go to, how you do that? Vimeo.com slash on demand slash R-T-M-W. Yeah, reading things my way, all right? Go there and watch all 12. But if you are a patron, you can see the whole thing along with your subscription. Subscription. What the devil? Subscription. Damn. All right, those of you that may want to have an opportunity to have personal prayer and prophecy. Well, if you donate right here tonight, of course, we will call you. Make sure your number's in the, in the memo. Um, but my spiritual father, my personal prophet, coach, and spiritual prophet, his name is Archbishop Bernard Jordan. Call this number right now. He's always on the line of their teaching and prophesying. This is call in number is 515-604-9266. Call that number anytime. Let somebody gonna be up there teaching or prophesying, or they'll be giving and reading off the people who gave and they'll be prophesying to them. Go on over there and get you some prayer or something. You come over here, get your laugh on the Larry Live show, and then you go over there to his, his platform and you can get your prayer and your prophecy on. If you are a patron, meet me every single Sunday at 8 a.m. for prayer and prophecy. Listen, on that Sunday of the Reformation experience, everybody's on that prayer call came, about 500 of us, maybe 600, 25 and 600 of us, came on Sunday morning, and we had church. And of course, it has been talked about round about the world, because people came as far as from Hong Kong that came with us on Sunday. It was exciting, and it was great. And what I am going to do, I'm going to share with you our praise break when the power of God came right when I got up before I started preaching because I did preach. That's why everybody requested. And so I did preach. I hadn't preached in the pulpit in a year and a half. 
um, really haven't shown up preach really since 2017, which is the year I stopped the church. Or was that 16? I can't remember. No, 17. No, 16. No, 17, we stopped the church, January 2017. But I think I preached one time that year. And then I preached at Bishop Church like a year and a half ago. But I preached on Sunday. Gonna put that on the platform as well. We want you guys to like and share all of that. You laugh here, you learn here, you have a good time here. We all come together, have a grand old time. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Until next time, my name is Larry Reed Live. And make sure that you always follow us here. Text Larry Live with no spaces to 33222. So you can know whenever I'm going live from this platform. Otherwise, your YouTube notification, your Facebook notification is not going to tell you. So you need to text this number so I can text you so that you can know when I'm sharing some other interviews. Deidre Hatton, Ty Tribbett, or uh, Vicky Winans, they were interviewed. So I'm going to air all of that here and let you see it. All right, I love you. Oh, oh leap of love this away. I say you know. Take care, bye. Stay connected to Larry Reed Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube page and hit the bell. Text Larry Reed Live to 33222. That's the words, Larry Reed Live, no spaces, 233222. And get notified when we go live. Become a member of Patreon today by logging on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Download the Patreon app and turn on your notifications. Get connected today.